Hello everyone, I am Manas Srivastav and you are watching UPSC Essentials of the Indian Express and it's time for the key term of the week. Today's key term is Cloudburst. Let us first know what you are going to learn from this video. Firstly, why is this term in news? Secondly, why is it relevant for UPSC? Third, what is cloudburst? Fourth, why do cloudbursts occur in hilly areas like Amarnath? Fifth, the Kedarnath case of 2013. So let's know why cloudburst is in news. Dear aspirants, sudden high localized rains in Amarnath caused flooding and led to deaths and injuries. Those who died were at a camp near the cave, which is a site of pilgrimage. Many politicians tweeted out messages of condolence and mentioned cloudburst induced flood as was earlier stated by officials. However, the IMD later said on July 9 that a cloudburst may not have actually occurred. Let's now know why is it relevant for UPSC. Their aspirants, geographical phenomena and disasters can be asked as questions both in prelims and mains. Therefore, this recent incident of cloudburst is important to know as a concept. Now let us know what is cloudburst. So cloudburst refers to an extreme amount of rain that happens for a short period, sometimes accompanied by hail and thunder. The IMD defines cloudburst as unexpected precipitation exceeding 100 mm or 10 cm per hour over a geographical region of approximately 20 to 30 square km. Significant amounts of rainfall such as this can result in floods. Aspirants, you must note that basically all instances of cloudburst involve heavy rain in a short period. But all instances of heavy rain in a short period are not cloudburst if they do not fit this criteria. Simply to put, all cloudbursts include heavy rain for short period but all heavy rains in short period are not cloudburst. Now you must know what happened in Amarna. So according to weather scientists, the shrine reported 31 mm of rainfall between 4.30 pm and 6.30 pm on 8th July, that was Friday, which does not fit in the definition of cloudburst. According to IMD Director General, and I quote, the flash floods could have been triggered due to rainfall in the higher reaches of the mountains near the Amarnath Cave Shrine, unquote. Now the question is, why do cloudbursts occur in Amarnath-like hilly areas? Dear aspirants, experts have said that it is difficult to predict when exactly a cloudburst will occur. Also, there is little definitive data on how many cloudbursts have occurred in our country. So it is due to this definition of cloudburst related to small areas. It is difficult to predict cloudburst and also identify cloudburst in particular areas. However, they are more likely to occur in hilly areas or mountainous regions because of the elevation and the geographical terrain. In hilly areas, sometimes saturated clouds ready to condense into rain cannot produce rain due to upward movement of the very warm current of air. Instead of falling downwards, raindrops are carried upwards by the air current. New drops are formed and existing raindrops increase in size. After a point, the raindrops become too heavy for the cloud to hold on to and they drop down together in a quick flash. 
And now let's understand the Kedarnath case of flooding and cloudburst in the year 2013. Dear aspirant, a study was published in 2020. This study discusses the factors and examines the reasons behind cloudburst in Kedarnath in 2013. Let us see some of the important points of this particular study. Firstly, it found that during a cloudburst, the relative humidity and cloud cover was at the maximum level with low temperature and slow winds. Secondly, it was expected that because of this situation, a high amount of cloud must get condensed at a very rapid rate and result in a cloudburst. As temperatures increase, the atmosphere can hold more and more moisture and this moisture comes down as a short, very intense rainfall for a short duration, probably half an hour or one hour. This results in flash floods in the mountainous areas and urban floods in the cities. With warming climate and climate change, expect more such events of cloudburst in the future. Dear aspirant, this was the key term for the week, the cloudburst. As you all know that UPSC Key and UPSC Essentials are two important initiatives of the Indian Express which are going to help you in your UPSC preparation. To make the best use of UPSC Key, scan the QR code in the end of this video. Also subscribe to the Indian Express to get more such videos. Remember, think smart, work hard, conquer your goal.